Well, as you can see from the screen, it's not too long to Christmas and time to get the Christmas cards done. So this time I'm going to give you a choice. I've got two pictures here that I'm going to use. Um, the one on the left is a nice sunny day, bright blue sky, big mountains, snowy mountains, thick snow in the foreground and Christmas trees. The one on the right is um, sun setting. We've got a bright red sky here which is reflecting in the water. We've got snow on the banks and a range of uh, thin tr winter trees. So I'm going to have a go at both of them and then you can um, decide which one you would like to pick if you want to use this for your cards. Now I can imagine people will be thinking, right, I won't be able to do that one so I may have a go at this one. This one is not as difficult as it looks. But anyway, we'll get, uh, I'm going to do, I'm actually going to, I've got a piece of paper here. Um, and I'm going to try and do the two of them side by side. What I mean by that is when bits of paint are drying on this side, I might jump over here, get some in and vice versa, back and forward. So, um, first of all, we'll need to make the sketches and then get on with the painting. So I'm going to sketch the one on the left hand side first and um, again there's not too much in this so I'm going to just draw that line down there about here. That's the snowy part. There's a bit here. I'm going to leave that. I'm going to change that a bit. The mountains come up like so. There's a bit along there. Big shadowy bit there, and over the top and down. There's a bit where there's less snow, and the trees. I'm just going to leave them for a bit. So that's basically all that's involved in that one. This one here. I'm going to go over to the right-hand side now. I'm going to start off with the snow, the bank on this side, so that's about there, there's bits jutting in and out, and some bits here, and I'm just going to carry that along to there. Now there's a snowy bank comes down here. It's a bit in the foreground, mid-ground there, and that's probably about it. Don't worry about the trees again, it's similar to the other one, we'll paint them in at the end. Right, so we need to now get started with the painting. Right, so we're going to start with the one on the left, I need to mix up a nice blue, cobalt blue sky, you can see I've started doing that already and um, just mixing up enough. Right, that's quite a good tonal value. So we'll shoot across and um, get the top part in and the sky on the one on the left. So just start at the top, got the big flat brush I'm coming down now to the mountain, the snowy part. And that's about it. Right. Let's get that a little bit more colour at the top. Right, we'll just leave that. I'm just going to tip this up a bit. I want the paint to run down there. Just let you see this. 
Just going to hold it for a few seconds. And that'll do. That should settle now. Right, that's the sky done. So I'm just going to leave that and shoot across to the other one. Okay, so now we're going to tackle the, the other one. So just let you see this again. So the sky is a little bit more complicated than just a plain blue. So we've got sun setting, we've got yellow, we've got orange, bits of red and some purpley up at the top. So what I'm going to do is shoot across and um, mix up some colours. So I need to get some yellow, so I've got cadmium yellow. I'm just going to put that up here. And then I'm going to get some orange. I've got cadmium orange down in the corner. And I'm going to get a little bit of cadmium red. Put that in there. And I've got some. I'm going to Tidy that up, get a fresh batch. Right, I need some... I'm going to use some blue, ultramarine blue. And I'm adding a little bit of crimson, which gives you that purpley colour. Now that's too dark, I'm just going to... Reduce that in strength a bit. Right, there we are. Okay, so this board's at an angle again. And um, when you start at the top, I'm just going with the colour. So I'm going to take the, the purpley blue down to about here. Right, let's go. Take that down now. Right, quick, we're going to add some red. Just drop that in there. It's important to keep the bottom half soft. Don't want any hard edges here. I'm going to come in with the orange. Again, I'm just blending it in. And then I'm just going to soften this. Don't want any hard edges. And finally, I'm going to come in with the yellow. This is where the sun will be. About there, I'll do. Right. Just going to let that settle now. So that should be okay. Right, we'll just let that settle and then we'll come back and do the, the snow. While I have these red and orange colours mixed up, I'm going to just um, put the reflection in the water. And it's mainly orange and reds we need. So I'm just going to start this. Um, let me start about here. A bit of red as well. Let's take it down here. And just be careful, I want to protect the snow. And it only goes across to about here and then the, the reflection and the water of the dark trees comes in here 
on this part so I'm just going to finish this little bit here and uh, then I'll put the, the darker I've got a dark brown mixed up just going to add a little bit of yellow up about here into the, the red and then I've got this uh, brown the reflections from the trees that we'll paint in so I'll just put this round here That's about it. Just merge this bit in here now. Right. Right, that'll do. Okay, so I've mixed up a, a grey cobalt blue again with some light red and get this nice light grey colour and I'm going to start putting in some of the shadow parts so there's a big section up here and she goes over here and down a bit right that's that there's one or two little bits here and there and down to the bottom there's some bits just on the top coming in um, now there's a big this is a hill area here so shadows over on the left that goes right down and there it's ok and one or two of these little bits and there's some bits here and another bit up there right I think that's about it yeah that'll do quite nicely just going to put some darker bits in there right just let that dry there's one or two biggish shadows coming over on the right there must be trees as well here so when I've got that paint I'm just going to um, flick some bits across this greyish colour for the snow mixed up for the for this one I'm going to use it here because the the snow is not white it's, it's dark so that's a greyish colour so I'm just going to soften it and um, just add a little bit more water get this in. I know I say that you don't uh, want to lose the white in paintings but um, white of the paper. This is um, 
as I say, is darker in the evening, so we want to have a pale grey snow. And I'm just going to work my way around with the, this grey that I had mixed up. I'm going to put some in here as well. Got to watch that. Hopefully that's dry. I don't want to touch that. Right, I'll do. There we are. That's that done. Um, gonna, um I've just mixed up some slightly stronger grey and I'm going to, while it's still wet I'm going to suggest shapes here and bits there to the, the one on the left um, this area here is there's not as much snow in it so there's um, quite a bit of, of the actual hillside showing it's a light brownish colour so I'm just going to try and get that in quickly and there's a bit down here Right, up to there's looks like tufty bits up here as well. I'll get that in. Shrubs and um, bushes, it could be trees. It's quite a bit away, so taller trees. I'm just gonna take some out there, that's fine. And um make this slightly darker at the bottom here right that's okay right I think that's us ready to paint the trees in there's two or three fir trees in that corner we'll get that in a minute so the paint is dry now on both um, of the, the paintings and um, I'm going to tackle this one, the sunset first. I'm going to show you how to fill in now all the bushes, trees etc and some reflection in the water. So I'm going to start here. I'm going to put some orange leafy bits in and some brown shrubs and then I'll show you how to just um, freely fling in these tall thin trees that don't have any foliage on them. So just going to mix up a brown. So I'm going to use um, this colour here, burnt sienna, which is a, a reddish brown. quite like that. I'm just trying to keep um, the theme going that it's um, sunset and it's a lot of reds and oranges. So Let's get some of this in. So I'll just shift this out the road. Um, right, so I just want to protect this bit of snowy bank here. Let's get that in. And I'm just going to randomly drop. Uh, some bits in. It's quite a lot of shrubs and bushes and 
foliage in the foreground. Right. Let me put some dark in, just to, some bits down here. Just give it a bit of variation. Right, that'll do. Now, I want um, some reddish orange colour again. And um, what I'm going to do, what you might want to do is get your pencil out and just uh, suggest where you're going to paint some of these taller trees. There's definitely one over here, and one or two there. Right, so I want um, to have some suggestion of leaves still on some of the the trees, giving that browny reddish colour. That'll do. There's some over here as well. Right. So I'm just going to leave that for a minute and um, what I'm going to do now is just come down to the, um, the bank area here and put in some, some texture around the, the water. So I'm going, there's a bit around the edge where the water, where the snow meets the water and I'm just going to um, paint this in which will help to create shape. And the snow coming down actually meeting the the water's edge and uh, that'll just go straight along there. Just take that right round. Right, this bit here will be the same, we'll have the This is again the bank on this side, we'll just see some little bits and a bit there and some down here. Right. <coughs> So what I need is that grey colour again and I just want to put some bits in here, a bit of shadow for the actual snow. It's starting to look a bit better already. Right, I've got a, a very fine pointed brush here which uh, I quite like using it, it gives a lot of super bits of detail, very fine, so I'm just going to um, put one or two little bits in the snow here. And there's a bit more tufty bits sticking up. Right. Now, <coughs> okay, so that's um, not too bad. What I'm going to do now is paint the trees in here for this bit that I filled in earlier. 
so I'm just going to use that a dark and brown colour again and I'll start at the top and just bring it down Make a smaller one here and this is all very freehand here just trying to fill in some of this colour now with trees so I'm not in particular I'm just um, where I feel that would help I'm just dropping some nice um, long thin bits that'll do there's one or two here as well so I would suggest you get a rigger out with a very thin brush and um, start to, to paint these in. This is slightly bigger, this one. Uh, goes up. And another one here. And what I'm going to do is just suggest some branches on their own. Right, that's filled in quite nicely. Now, some bigger ones coming. Um, what I want to do is a nice dark. It's almost verging on a bit of dark green, so I'm going to put some in. There's a big one here. Uh, coming down. And I'm just going to take it down into the, the bottom foliage area here, and that'll do. Right. Now there's quite a lot of uh, tall, thin, spindly ones next, so I'm going to just go for it here, get this area all filled in. So. Um, I'll just let you see what I'm talking about. This bit here is just a mass of trees. So I'm going to take them right up to the top. That's the main ones. Um, start putting thin, thin branches all the way up and across. And I'm just going to use that thin brush that I had earlier and put a whole range of uh, branches coming out. So I'm just going to have to quickly go for this. So you can see that I'm really just trying to fill this area in and make it look um, like it's just a whole range of thin, tall, thin trees. And you'll have some fun doing this, I would imagine. There we are, starting to look. Right. Darken one or two of them just to 
Make them stand out in the foreground a bit. And there we are. I'll do that bit. So that's um, starting to look quite nice. Just going to fin finish this fir tree off a bit. Now, lastly, some branches overhanging on the left hand side. So just mixing up a dark brown again. I'm going to bring these in on the top here. Um, nice thin brush again. And let's just drop these in random. Another one down here. A thicker one here. And one or two here coming across. Just want to be careful with this, we don't want to overdo it. I'm just trying to fill this corner in with... It's not too bad, just one or two more and then we'll call it a day. Uh, this one there. Right, I think that'll do. Right, so that's um, looking quite acceptable. I'm going to just slightly, one of the bushy bits I put in there, it's kind of died away, but I'm going to just strengthen it slightly. Some of these bits here. That's better. Right. Okay, I'm almost finished now. Just want to put some detail in the shadows. Sorry, not shadows, reflections down here. So, again, I'm just going to use that dark brown colour that I had. And, um, going to put a bit of reflection here some of these tall trees and a movement in the water and there's a big tall one here which comes down And the big uh, fir tree. And again, I'm just going to put some reflections in the water. Going to put some little tufty bits of grass here just to fill in that um, corner area. And that'll do, I think. Right, so that's that one finished. So over to the brighter snow scene on the left. Um, I've got a nice grey colour mixed up and I'm just going to add some bits of detail to the To the mountains, got this darker colour. Um, it's a bit here, and this is just adding some craggy, rough, rocky edges here, and there's a bit over there. And nice bit in the center there. Right. 
comes right down. Yeah, these, um, this is definitely trees here. So I'm just going to um, exaggerate it a bit. I'm going to put more trees in over on this side, some tall fir trees. Again, this is very fine detail, so get a nice pointed brush and um, get your detail added. The detail makes the painting. Right. So it's just giving a feeling of depth here with these trees leading up to the top of the mountain. Right, that's okay. Just one or two little bits in the snow shining through bits of the, the mountain edge. One or two just up there and a little bit here. So I'm going to start with a big tall tree. There's one that uh, starts away up here. Uh, so I'm just starting to um, take the trunk down so I can follow it and um, put these bits of branches as they're coming out. quite nice the dark dark green against the white of the snow super contrast that's a big thing you should be looking for in uh, paintings uh, contrast darks against lights when you get that in a painting it starts to uh, really show up and uh, people notice these areas the draws the eye so you can see how this is really uh, nice. The battery actually ran out of my camera there, so I had to um, stop where I was stopped. So um, I'm just going to start again with where I was coming down this super big um, fir tree. I'm going to um, just leave some bits like white like that to suggest there is big still big clumps of snow on the the branches. Put another one in here. I'll be able to to use that again. Right, so that's us down at the bottom with the first one, the big one on the left, uh, on the right, sorry. Right, yeah, that looks quite nice, I like that, I'll use these bits. Now there's another one or two there, I'm just going to quickly paint them in. Right over here, there's 
one about here. And draw the trunk down again so I know where I am. Right. So it's down to the bottom. I'm going to make the second one here a lot smaller just to get a bit in. That's fine. That blends in nicely. Right. Okay, so that's the trees in. Now all we have to do is um, some shadows on the the trees coming across here, the sun's shining this way. So we just need to finish that off. So I'm going to start off with a big, the big uh, number 12 brush. There's a big shadow right across here, so I want to get quite a, get that filled in quickly. Goes up to about here and then, so if I get this bit in, And then there's a huge bit for this tree. Up to about here. Right. Just going to get the smaller brush now. And put some super fine bits for the finish the shadow off. And then same across on the other side. Nice fine bit here. Just take that up and that one as well. And that's about it. the snow that we've got here just putting some shadows on that I want to make it all too bright right I think that'll do soften that bit off and that'll be us right Right, that's fine. I'll do nicely. Finished. <coughs> okay, I'm going to peel the paper off now and see what they look like. So you have the choice now, two paintings um, you can use for your Christmas card. It's difficult to say which one um, is the better of the two. Um, once you get the tape off and step back and have a look. You start to, with a white border around them, it shows off a nice frame. Right, so let's just zoom out and have a look at these. See what they think. Well, 
think I have to go for the one on the right here. I might use that. Um, just something different. But equally so, this one's nice as well. Clear, sharp, bright. Um, anyway, that's it. I'll leave it up to you. So I'm planning to do another short video with how to paint um, about eight or nine cards um, in the one go. I did it last year and it was quite successful so I plan to do that again um, shortly, probably in the next day or two. So keep watching the channel. So get the paints out, have a go, see which one you think. Okay, thanks again.